Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is our um, daughter's old room. And as you can see, we're converting it for a nursery because the Wonderlust Handyman is going to be a grandfather very soon. Um, our middle daughter is going to have us a little grandson. So we're very excited. We're getting a room ready. They don't live here. Um, they're not planning on living here, but we plan on having them here as much as we can. So we have a nice bed for our daughter to lay in so she can relax. We have the crib with the little baby. I'm going to be putting up a TV on this wall behind me here. And if you remember from the pet gate video, this house was built in the fifties. This is actual sheetrock. So it's very fragile behind it. I'll install a, br a brush plate behind the TV and then down at the floor level, there's a plug back here. And so we'll have the power coming out back there. Another, another brush plate on the bottom. So that keeps it nice and neat. You don't see cords going down your wall and yeah i just like it. i think it looks much better so without further ado i guess i gotta do some work so i'll put you guys on the tripod so you can see a little bit of what's happening mm -hmm. all right so we got that up there this is ready to put a tv on and it will swivel this way it'll tilt up and down so the next thing we need to do is get these plates like this all right guys so we have this brush plate is not completely installed but it's there and we have this nice hole in the wall which ate through my blade. So now I've got to run the cable from up there to down here. So instead of installing a new electrical plug, which um, I'm worse at electrical than I am plumbing, which is really saying something. So all I'm gonna do is run an extension cord from up there down to here. Um, make sure you get a good quality one. Don't run one of those cheap little green ones in your wall. You don't want that. There's nothing in there. There's no insulation in that wall, which is a little concerning. But for this situation, it'll be great because there's nothing for the core to be up against. It's just up against hard rock. So that should be good. So I'm going to get that run. Normally what I do is a string with like a bolt or something on the end of it just to keep it straight. Uh, I used to have a snake somewhere, like an electrical snake, a cable snake. But, um... I probably won't do that. I'll probably go old school with a piece of string. Told you string. Looks like we got ribbon today. We're going to be going festive. Yeah. Sorry. I know you're going to laugh. I know that my brother is really going to laugh. He actually does know how to do electrical. But somehow he always seems to abandon me for these things. Right now he's actually, I believe, out in Vegas. Do you know if the hotel's pager friendly? I'm not getting a sig on my beeper. Business. All right, so we got this in here. And if you look down here, you can see it worked perfectly. Now I can pull that out. And now I have something that I can snake my wire with. Now what I gotta do is take my wire snake, my ribbon, and tie it around this cable. And then just pull it down through the hole. Now I'll show you how we do the brush plate. A hammer is typically not required to put a plate in the wall, but this, I made this hole really nice and snug so that this would hold good. I really don't even have to screw that because it's, I mean, it's tight in there. Here you go. So here's a close up of what my cord looks like going into the wall. Now there's a lot of options out there. There's, you know, like the rubber plates that have like a, it's almost the same thing, but it's like a rubber flap. There's the kind that have a, almost like an arc where the wire comes out the bottom. 
you can do all kind of different ones i like these i've used these for years just because they don't require a whole lot of um whole lot of cutting some of the other ones you have to actually mount a box inside the wall these you don't have to i mean you should if you wanted to do it the entirely proper way but these brush plates just mount straight to your wall and i mean they're super easy they look nice and professional i buy them by the case we have always ran our cords through the wall it just makes a nice cleaner look Cable manager is something I really enjoy doing for about 10 minutes. And then I get real tired of it. But check out my closet video. That is the, whoo, my closet video is the um, most amazing time I've had doing cable management because it's just, check it out good if you don't like it i'll give you your money back okay here we go ready i kind of feel like michael scott with <laughs> oh with his surround sound i guess what surround sound means is that right over here tim <laughs> so let's push this thing back check this out Folds. In the in this video, it looks <laughs> it looks very small on the wall. And the room is not bad, um, but it does look a little small from the camera's point of view.